Let's take a look at why DataPrime is the most sophisticated data analytics syntax on the market today. We can see here we have a normal filter query <clears throat> where we pull by region, US East 2. <clears throat> this is boring. Let's go a little further. So we can see that we can use the top command. What the top command will do is it will aggregate some data for us and give us the top results. So I want the top 10 um, availability zone. And by the way, look at this um, autocomplete. It's remarkable. It looks like an IDE. So we pull the availability zone and we want the top by count, for example. So this will give us the availability zones where there are the most logs, essentially. So we can see here that US East 2C, 39,954. 2A, only 21,000. This might tell us that not enough resources are running in 2A. This is just a simple insight that we got from a few characters. You'll see the column here is uh, underscore count zero. We can change the name very easily. Uh, for example, count per AZ. So we can run that. And that will tell us uh, that the column name has changed. But most importantly, the schema has now updated. So I can now run a filter command and I can filter by count per AZ. So if I wanted to, I could start running calculations on this. And this is what Data Prime is all about, allowing you to stack your insights one on top of the other without having to implement hierarchical language or anything like that. It's all flat processing. Um, let's look at one more example that's a bit more involved, um, involving extracting uh, unstructured data. So we can see here that the um, this is a, a, more, a longer query, but it's actually really straightforward. First, we look for logs with a message uh, that contains the word place order. Then we look for logs that contain the tracking ID in there. We can merge these together if you want. I prefer lots of small different filters. And this is one of the really nice things about Data Prime. You can approach it like a full programming language. Then what we'll say is, let's pull the data out of message. So if we take a look at the actual uh, message itself, you can see down here that the place order has new tracking ID and then the tracking ID. We want to pull this out. So you can see here how the regex follows place order, new tracking ID, and then we have this lookup group here, which tells Data Prime we want this data. And as you can see, what Data Prime will do is it will make a new object, uh, tracking data, and it will make a new field, tracking ID. And within tracking ID, we have that field. So this is just a really, really powerful way of exploring even completely unstructured data. And by the way, this will work out of the box for key value pairs in JSON as well. Data Prime is by far the most sophisticated data analytics tool that you can use today. And the fact that it works so well with your observability data allows you to mine those new insights that you didn't even know you had. Take a look today.